Alright, we're gonna make it to the moon! Oh, oh! <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that, that worked. worked. That worked. Hmm. That was fun. So, anything interesting to talk about? Well, first things first, let's get this out of the way out of the bat. There's been a book that's been released. There's been a book. Mm hmm. It's about everyone's favorite moron. Favorite moron? Yes, I think you know what I mean already. Hmm. The FCC guy? Obvious! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Some madman wrote a book about Trump. Oh boy! Mm hmm. He got it published. Trump actually threatened to sue. That's that's gonna work. That that definitely worked out. The book is definitely not su selling out everywhere. Mm. Good, good good job, President Man. <clears throat> you failed miserably. For real though. That type of news isn't terribly interesting. Not but, really. But the thing is, if this shit happened before, so. Like, you know, oh, you probably never learned about this, but I did in high school. Okay. It was AP history, so you probably uh, never heard of it. Probably not. <clears throat> but have you heard of DDT? Or is it DDT? Basically, it's a pesticide. Huh. Basically, back in the old days, we used pesticides everywhere. I do recall hearing, I think, that much. Yeah. It's actually a pretty interesting story. Basically... We used to, we used pesticides everywhere. They contain an ingredient called DDT, which causes like paralysis and shit like that. Mm. And got and it got rid of bugs. So we're so no so we're so no one's complaining, right? Until until one day, some some researcher did some actual researching, right? Research? Who does that? I know, right? He does research the effects of DDT and like and and she found out. Holy shit! This is awful. I'm gonna write a book about how terrible this is, oh. right? And like this is like this is like this type of stuff, right? Like they spread the pesticide over a field, and all the birds like fell, like fell in a paralyzed state. That's uh, how powerful that shit oh, is. Oh jeez! It is dangerous. It is dangerous to everything. Okay, right? And major, major pesticides companies want didn't want didn't want that book to be released because they lose the they lose out on the money. Wow, that poor dude. <laughs> Sucks to be towed. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so but um, you're gonna nope. I'm not. I'm good. So basically, um, they didn't sue the book. They just tried to make it make it so it didn't get published. Ding. Nice. Anyway. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's one way to get started. Yeah, so basically they're they're trying to pressure her into not publishing the book and getting and getting uh, people to think ill of that of her research, right? They campaign very heavily against it. So in the end what happened in the end like they they put like articles like, oh, if if this book get published, all the pests are gonna come back. And it's gonna be terrible. And everything's going to suck, right? Eventually, the book gets published. Companies stop putting DDT into pesticides. We stop spreading. We stop spreading pesticides everywhere. Yeah, like they did. They did some really fucked up shit, right? They had. They had a couple kids, like eight-year-old, six-year-old, six to eight-year-old kids, right? They're at a picnic table eating lunch, and they just sprayed pesticides all over them. Um. Mhm. Mm yeah, it wasn't a terribly. If, re if I remember correctly, one of the green stars is like shooting all the way to the left or right here. I don't remember. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But yeah, they did some. The company did some really fucked up shit. Uh oh. It didn't count. Oh. Well, I guess you gotta restart then. For real though. Anyway. So so yeah, they did some pretty fucked up shit to try to try to get the public opinion on their side. Book eventually gets published. People stop putting stop putting DDT into the into the pesticide, right? Yeah. 
In this case, Trump is actively suing the person publishing the book. I need a, a damage boost. <laughs> uh, no damage boost for you. Mm -hmm. Like Trump is actively threatening to sue the publishment, the publishing of this book, which you can't do it because Fox already tried that. <laughs> Fox already tried that, and they completely failed. You heard about that one, right? Uh, I don't think so, but it seems like something they do. Yeah, basically, basically, the, what happened is there is a guy publishing a book on on the out about Fox, right? Yeah. And they tried to, and they tried to suing him, suing him, so you so you didn't so you get rid of the ow, ow, ow. Uh. They tried suing him, so he got, the book wouldn't get published and shit like that, right? And they sued him, and they can't they couldn't sue him for the book because it's satire, right? So they tried to sue them, so they tr so they tried to sue him for using the term. Uh, using the term, what was it again? Uh... uh I'm trying- oh, uh, it'll come to me someday. Fuck, what was it? Oh my god, it's at the tip of my head! Let me go look it up. You can if you want. Basically, it's the Fox motto-ish. It was... Shit! Oh my god, this is this is gonna this is gonna this is gonna haunt me all day. Fair and balanced, that's what it was. Fair and balanced? Fair and balanced. They tried they tried to sue him on the on the fact that he can't use the term fair and balanced, because that's what they use. They lost that suit terrifically. Uh Fox versus Franken? Yes, Fox versus Franken. No, oh, there's a Wikipedia article. Yeah, it's a very it's a very not it's very um well known case actually. Huh. Uh, about the about one guy versus corporations. It's a ridiculously hilarious. And I believe this is the same Franken that was Fuck me. Is this the same Franken that was Sundra? Uh, uh. Al Franken. Yep, that's him. <laughs> that's him. So before Al Franken became a senator and then got out of it again, <laughs> he was the guy who sued, who got sued by Fox and won. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. That was a very interesting time. But now. But yeah, so Trump. So he can't. So Trump can't actually sue because he doesn't have any basis for it. I, think I forgot to set something on the camera. And even if he oh. makes one up, the judges aren't very on his side unless he appoints more of them. But whatever. But yeah, so that was that segment. That took longer than I wanted it to, but still. So now on, on to something more important, which is something that we did kind of like five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> so there's this guy. His name is. <clears throat> His name is Kid or something? I don't know. I don't know. Sounds like a to sounds like a dumb person. I know, right? He has this huge collection of video games that his parents bought over the years. <laughs> for them, I think. Did they buy Did they buy any for Kid? Uh, I think it's just for the family. Okay, for the family. That's fair enough. But yeah, we went through like two hundred something games. I don't know. Some number. Oh, I missed terribly. Yeah. <laughs> you. 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 Didn't do the thing good. Yeah. yeah, so we went through like several games from PS2, PS4, and GameCube. Right? Yeah. And, and PS1, that's right. And yeah, PS1. there's some there's there's a good amount of PS1. Yeah. We found a shit ton of things that we never knew that we never knew people could own nowadays. Alright, that's a collection now. That that shit's worth <laughs> money. <laughs> On some black market somewhere. Some black market somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's very descriptive. Mm hmm <coughs> Yeah, but that shit that shit is worth money now. Look, all the obscure titles that we saw in there. Of not terrible games at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good job. And by good job I mean you suck! I know, right? But yeah, we found some interesting games. You got, they, he got, they got all the famous PS2, <laughs> PS2 games. All the entire J Jack collection, except Jack Racing. I didn't see Jack Racing. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, yep, they had the entire Ratchet PS2 collection, like I do. Uh, they had Sly Cooper, and that was it. 
Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they have Sly Cooper. I can rant about how terrible that game is oh. and how people and how many people will try to strangle me for that. But still. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure many people would strangle you from anything. So. I know, right? I'm a very stranglable guy. <laughs> the uh, problem is, I have a very thick <laughs> neck, so it's gonna take some doing. Anyway, you saw Clonella. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, it was Clonella. It was Clonella. I didn't. I know it was a game. I thought it was also some type of anime or something. But apparently, it was just a game. We buy an Namco. Yeah, you guys had a shit ton of Final Fantasies too. Yeah. And I and I don't mean a shit ton of Final Fantasy twos. I mean a shit ton of Final Fantasies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, you had four, five, seven, eight, twelve. I think. <laughs> I didn't see the. I didn't see nine. Was there nine? I didn't. I don't recall seeing nine. Wow, you guys suck. Honestly, <laughs> you had you had eight of all things. <laughs> I can't explain actions from years ago. I know you guys are you guys are just that dumb. I mean, I am that one kid, so being mm -hmm. dumb is my specialty. Mm-hmm. I gotta stretch this out so I can finally beat this level before we move on to another <laughs> topic. But still. <laughs> well, yeah, interesting selection of games. We got Mario. We got Mario. We got the Mario. Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah. We're getting. We got. We just took that out of this collection. We'll maybe do something with it. No, no promises. Could be a let's play, who knows? Could be a random toxic game. Oh who my knows? god. Could be another point where you fucking die! <laughs> okay, fuck this. I'm ignoring the star bits now. Yeah. I already got two. <laughs> anyway. Oh uh, no. I've, I've only played Super Mario Sunshine back in like third grade when my. No, when my friend was in third grade. Back when I was in first grade. Jesus Christ. My my third grade friend owned the owned the GameCube and he had Sunshine on it. I played it for a bit, got some got some shines, didn't make much progress in the game at all. Like then like I'm base I'm pretty sure the entirety of my shines were on Al were on Al were, were on Delfino Plaza. So didn't make ter didn't make too much progress on that front. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I remember this boss. Oh, come on! <laughs> but yeah, didn't, didn't, never played Sunshine all the way to the end. Or at all, for, the, for that matter. I don't didn't think know, I played it at all. I remember, I remember when I was playing with my friend. We were both, we were both surprised as shit when I, when I did a backflip jump. <laughs> like, holy shit, you jumped so high! How did you do that? Oh, no! Right, and we're trying to do the and we're doing the box breaking mini game in Delphi in Delfino Plaza at that time. It was like, oh, you gotta use that jump to get to the top and use your butt to break the box. It's like, oh my god, it was amazing. Uh... <laughs> yeah, basically a lot of fun. A lot of fun of the older games is figuring out things that work. Surprisingly enough, what? Once you, like a lot, a lot of those games, a lot of those games back then, they didn't really, they didn't really tell you anything about how to play the actual game besides, besides two words on, besides like two words on the, uh, on the manual. Other than that, that was it. I think I've seen like something similar with Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Well, the thing, the thing about Mario Odyssey, the thing about Mario games in general is that. There's already so many of them that it's pre that the controls are pretty much exactly the same throughout. You know what I mean? Now nah, I'm saying. Well, it's a, I guess that there's like some variation because you have the hat now. Oh yeah. But they teach you how to use the hat. Well, they at least sort of. They, ha they have like, a playground to teach. They have a playground that use utilizes all the hat's functions. I think I think they just tell you like, ba like the pure like the basic controls, and that's about it. Yep. I can wait all day, man. <laughs> Ooh, totems. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's a tank tower. A tank tower? Speaking of tank tower, there was a... We actually, my friends and I, we're, we're, 
we're like brains. We're doing our usual brainstorming thing that we usually do when we get together, right? Yeah. Oh, that green one died. Dude. But like, basically, we ha basically one one of the things we came up with like, what if there's like, what if there's like a Monster Hunter S game, but instead of like hunting, instead of hunting monsters on land, we hu we hunt giant mechanical mecha mechanical anime beasts in the ocean. In the ocean. Right. It'll be. <laughs> it was, yeah, that was a, that was an idea we had. Basically, basically, what, basically, it's like people would be on jet skis, right? They'd be flying around on the water. They have swords and guns, and they try to kill a thing that shoots lasers and shit. And like this is the this is the most B movie thing we can possibly think of. <laughs> well, wouldn't you think that would be cool though? Like, Probably depending on how it's executed. Well, like we were thinking, like we we're like we we're like thinking things like, oh, like there's gonna there's gonna be the kaiju monster. We don't have an actual thing for it yet. It's just gonna be some sort of bio 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 magical mechanical shit. All right. <laughs> there's gonna be the thing. You're gonna everyone's gonna have like jet boost packs to skirt around the water, so they can dash at the monster, hit it with swords. I assume you could go underwater. Oh yeah, underwater to dodge some attacks. But then, if you go underwater, it takes time to charge up to finally get to max speed and shit. Cause... Like, if some monster's on water, you could probably attack him from underwater. I don't- we haven't thought of that yet. There's probably gonna be a reason why you can't do that, but... <laughs> because underwater combat- and Underwater combat was tried in Monster Hunter, and most people hate it, so it's mm. like... <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So we didn't. So we didn't really want to skirt around that. We just said, go underwater, dodge some attacks. Then you need to surface. Good. Let's just say you can't breathe at all underwater. <laughs> How about that? Special drowning skills. For real though. The idea is you can fire. You you have a you have a boost to ski across the water, and you have a sword and a gun, and you use the gun to shoot and the, and the sword to slice things, right? You can- you also have a harpoon where you can attach yourself to the monster so that when you jump you can like go in a circle around it instead of going in a straight line. Cause ah. you can't- cause you can't move like that otherwise. And if- and- another, and we're thinking about- there's gonna be- there's gonna be some really cool monsters, for example one of the bosses, like one of the big boss ones we were thinking of is literally just this giant tower of worm. <laughs> right? So it's gonna involve a lot of climbing on it. And it's gonna shoot radial lasers and shit like that. And like basically a whole bunch of stuff that only like preteens would enjoy. <laughs> oh, I like this. I think I think this is the one one of the soundtracks I like. Let me see. Magma. I'm gonna listen to the soundtrack for a bit. See if this is the one I'm thinking of. Oh yes, this is the one. Oh shit! Don't kill yourself! I was not shaking the Wiimote. Oh, I don't know why that killed itself. I don't know, I saw you- I saw your star thing, like, move around. Okay, maybe I was holding the controller too hard. <laughs> you might have been. Alright. There's a pipe down there. Yep, this is the secret star. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. Let's go bowling! They give you a checkpoint just in case you die while bowling. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, so, oh fuck me! <laughs> so <laughs> come on! <laughs> uh... I thought you might be back. <laughs> okay. Bowling. But basically, we're thinking. Oh, oh yeah, I'm already a rock, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're thinking about stuff like that, and we're thinking like some. We're getting, you can make equipment that does special stuff, so that if you wanted to play more with guns or more with the sword, you can do that. Hmm. Strike. <laughs> this is going way too well right now. Well, now it's not going to. Woo! Okay, at least I survived. <laughs> I never make it. I never make that one, but I'll take it. I'm bad at timing. Okay, never mind. Says the guy who just got a strike. Never mind. Oh, 
All right. Did I make it? Okay. <laughs> Let's go now! Oh. <laughs> oh, that was dead. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, that was that, that works. Was, that was okay. I'll take it. Wow, they're just handing it out like free candy. Yay! I tied. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> enough. I'm an underachiever. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god. <laughs>